news on Russian TV channels, the Federal Defense Minister flew to Pyongyang to celebrate 70th anniversary of the end of Korean War. Shoigu visited the parade and talked to the head of North Korea. Kim Jong-un in turn showed Shoigu a ballistic missile. Three days before the meeting, North Korea had defiantly launched a one-missile strike in the direction of Japan. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea is an important partner of Russia, with which we share a common border and a rich history of cooperation. Unlike Russia and Korea, the world found no reason to celebrate. Moreover, world analysts believe that the parade arranged by Kim Jong-un could have been a presentation of the Korean military-industrial complex for a customer, although there was no official information about new contacts in the field of armament. Since Russia does not have enough military hardware or ammunition right now because of the war with Ukraine, I would say that North Korea also has the intention to export products by showing Russia that it produces different types of missiles and is capable of supplying them. North Korea is the only country in the world, apart from Iran, that openly helps Russia with arms. In fact, the Kim's regime is an accomplice in criminal war against Ukraine. The fact that Moscow was buying ammunition from North Korea became known as early as last September. The very fact that the allegedly second army of the world is forced to look for shells in North Korea is very illustrative. The Kremlin is forced to rely on North Korea as the last real ally in the world. Western analysts believe that Shoigu's trip was aimed at expanding expanding military cooperation between rock countries. Apparently, Russia has decided that North Korea is one of its key partners, at least for now. I suppose Kim Jong-un could provide Moscow with more ammunition and also send volunteers to Russia, just as the Chinese did when they sent volunteers to North Korea during the Korean War, which, by the way, is being commemorated today. Richard Weitz, director of the Center for Political Military Analysis at the Hudson Institute in Washington in a commentary for Voice of America. But Ukrainian experts believe that even if North Korea provides assistance to Russia, it will be symbolic. The fact is that one of the pillars of the North Korean regime is the myth of an imminent war with the imperialist. The Kim regime has been preparing for it since its foundation, and that is why the North Korean military forces have to be on alert all the time. North Korean weapons are a much bigger problem for Japan, North Korea and the USA than for Ukraine. Therefore, both Turkey and Seoul have become more active in this direction in order to somehow involve the main ally, the key guarantor of security, the United States, in solving this issue. But the question of how to restrain cooperation between North Korea and Russia is not on the agenda, at least for now, because this support will be insignificant and, in fact, it will not change the current situation in any way. North Korea, Japan and the United States hold trilateral meetings at a political level, develop cooperation in the military industrial complex and conduct joint military exercises. Diplomats also point to Pyongyang's threat to support Russia's criminal war against Ukraine. North Korea's support for Russia's brutal war of aggression against Ukraine in the form of public statements, in the form of the arms shipments, in the form of the arms shipments that we've talked about. All of this illustrates North Korea's destabilizing and irresponsible role in international affairs. Verdant battle the principal deputy spokesperson for the U.S. Department of State. On August 18th in Maryland will be held a trilateral meeting of heads of state of Japan, North Korea and the United States. The White House press service said in a statement that the leaders will discuss the elimination of the continued threat posed by North Korea. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Daniela Kobza, UATV News.